Hey everybody, Nathan Gallagher here coming to you from the third floor repair shop at Groom Guitars in beautiful Nashville, Tennessee. I have a beautiful, rare Maurer acoustic built by the Larson Brothers uh, around 1930. And this one's not for sale. This actually belongs to our fearless leader, George. And um, he purchased this, uh, I'm not sure how long ago, and we reset the neck, refretted it, and um, uh, did some structural repairs, but other than that, it was extremely clean. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to show um, this particular instrument was um, Carl and August Larsson were Swedish immigrants that immigrated from Sweden to Chicago in about 1880, I think. Um, and they, in my opinion, were some of the finest of the Chicago builders. And they didn't only just build guitars, they built mandolins, uh, harp guitars, uh, and, and other fretted instruments. And this is a very clean example uh, of some of their exquisite workmanship. Um, very tight, very clean, clean work. And they were very instrumental in designing acoustic guitars that could withhold um, the extreme pressure of steel strings, because before this time period, all guitars were gut string, so they were braced very lightly. So what the Larson brothers did was they sat and tried to devise ways of um, having these acoustic guitars uh, hold the tension of the steel strings without completely coming apart. And one of the ways they did that was um, laminated bracing. Um, they also did steel support rods, which I have an instrument right here that actually has steel support rods in it. If you look inside the sound hole here, there is a steel rod running from the tail block all the way through, hoops around uh, the neck heel here, and it actually holds the neck and body from deforming in on itself. That was one of the things that they were trying. So these instruments are very important in sort of the evolution of what, you know, the acoustic guitar, the steel string acoustic guitar came to be in around 33, 34, uh, when you see the first um, guitar built, you know, um, for Ditson by Martin. So these are important instruments. Also, a lot of notable players played Larson Brothers, people like Bob Dylan and Johnny Cash and Stephen Stills. Um, Johnny Cash actually gave uh, Bob Dylan his 1930s euphonin and um, very famously said that it was the biggest mistake he'd ever made and he wishes he could find another one like that someday. Uh, and I can understand why. But again, these are fabulous instruments um, that were manufactured from about 1900 to 1940. So about a 40 year span, but in that 40 years, they were able to really um, create some things that uh, are beautiful and last a lifetime and sound incredible. So I just wanted to share these with you, with you this afternoon. Uh, again, Nathan Gallagher coming to you from the third floor repair shop at Groom Guitars in Nashville, Tennessee. Thanks.